Every river fish loves luncheon meat. That's a good thing, but also a very big problem. I will quickly play you an intro, and after that I will explain what I mean exactly. Bubble, chub, big roach, bream, river carp, all of them love luncheon meat. But also, luncheon meat loves smaller species like small gudgeon, small day, small roach. And quite often, they do attack big pieces of luncheon meat as well. I did recently some underwater footage, and I noticed that gudgeon especially, big shoals of them do attack big pieces of luncheon meat and they do destroy those bigger pieces of luncheon meat in no time at all. They behave like piranhas, they just take bit by bit of the hook bait for example and, and in a couple minutes big piece of luncheon meat becomes very small one and after that it disappears at all. So in this short video I will demonstrate how to overcome this issue. So when using luncheon meat as a hook bait you want to protect it in some way. By experimenting, I have discovered that the best way to protect luncheon meat is to put it in some kind of a mesh. And the best mesh for that is fox armor mesh. So you put your hook baits or luncheon meat pieces into the mesh. And then you want to hair rig those pieces as well. Let me quickly explain and demonstrate how to do this. All right, the steps are very, very simple. I will use fox armor mesh. I would say that you want to use the one which is at 14 millimeters diameter. There is another one which is I think 22 millimeters diameter but for the freshwater fish in the UK waters I think you're good to go with the 14 millimeters. You don't really need any bigger than that. So the steps are very simple. I will grab the tube with the mesh on it and it has a little plunger as well. Then I will grab one of meat pieces. It's probably I would say the cube size is centimeter by centimeter by centimeter or so. It doesn't really matter it can be a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller as the meat is a soft or it has a soft texture, texture, it will go easily through the tube. So I will do that next. And also please notice that I have already a little knot on the end of the mesh. Now I will push this bait through the tube. Good thing is that you don't really need to squeeze it as, as, as hard the meat into the mesh but you can do so if you want. Now I will tie a couple knots as close to the piece of meat as possible. That's one and that's the other one. Basically you need two knots just to have the second knot to be ready when uh, you will be making the overhook bait. Make sure that they are tight. Then all you do is cut in between the knots. Just like that. And now I am ended up, or I ended up with a little hook bait. And uh, to this point, everyone, uh, everything was straightforward. And now how to attach this hook bait onto the hair. I think uh, I, uh, came up with a very very good way of doing that and for that you will need a latched needle in this case I'm using guru one and then you just try to go along the knots or start uh, or push the needle as centrally as you can and also very very close to the knots just like that then all you do is attach the needle on to your hair. The hair should be about two centimeters long or two and a half centimeters, so uh, an inch or so. Then you close the latch onto the needle 
course making sure that the needle is still attached to the hair and then just pull the hair through the bait. Now you could use a boily stop if you would want it or anything else really but I actually come up with a very very good idea as mentioned so all you do is just take that loop and pull it around the knot and not use any like boily stops at all not say saying that <laughs> you will save lots on boily stops so it will uh, you won't spend as much as, as you uh, will not have to buy them but it just in my opinion this way is a little bit neater it's not uh, as easy probably but you still can do it with a little bit of practice very quickly you can uh, use uh, the same needle just to help it a little bit and that's it and this hook bait is attached super good. Quite often I, I, I use to catch and uh, well always catching when using this uh, these kind of uh, hook baits quite a few fish on a single hook bait. So it's very reliable and uh, very good as well and, and super neat. You can pull the herring a little bit into the meat and it actually hides the knot, it pulls the knot in so the, uh, the knot is not uh, visible as, as good so it's just very neat hook bait attached to the hair that's really perfect and that's it from me for today i hope you will be able to use this little tip in your own river fishing thanks for watching and see you in the next one